Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your spiritual reading for the month of May 2017. Um, so let me just start off with a little bit of a conversation with you guys. Um, just a little bit of an icebreaker. Um, now, I'm an Aquarius, and you know, Leos and Aquarius are pretty much polar opposites from the on the zodiac wheel. And across the board, it has always been difficult for me to connect to your readings. And you can tell that too based on the views um, compared to like an Aquarius reading, for example, or even like a Sagittarius reading. So it's, um, it's, it's difficult for me traditionally across the board to connect to you guys months after months, okay? So just keep in mind that um, when I do these readings, it's for people that need to know a specific message, okay? And so if it doesn't resonate with you, listen to your rising sign, listen to your moon sign. But I feel that uh, there is an overwhelming message coming through here. So I'm going to, you know, preface that and then go into your reading. So the, the first thing here is um, I feel like there is a little bit of a defensiveness. And um, one of the things that we really want to focus on for this month and especially going through, you know, 2017 here is learning to let our guard down, okay? Learning to let our guard down and learning to communicate in a way that will allow somebody to give us constructive criticism, okay? So I feel that you have somebody in your life that is coming through, giving you some type of guidance, giving you some type of advice so that you can improve something in your life, so that you can improve your financial situation, so that you can improve the practical uh, ways in which you go about doing something, so that you can streamline work processes, so that you can, you know, be a lot more stable in your foundation, so that you can do things in a more directed manner, so that you are a lot more efficient. And so you have somebody coming through like this, and I feel that you are getting very, very defensive because you feel that they're encroaching upon your turf, their advice might not even be, for some of you, like it, it's unsolicited or their advice is coming through in a way that rubs you the wrong way. And so one of the, the major uh, lesson I feel overall coming through for this month is, you know, they're saying a good leader. This is the card of, of the emperor. An emperor is a leader. He's a leader. He's a leader of kings. He's a leader among men. And, you know, this is a female or male energy. But it's saying that a leader always takes constructive criticism, okay? So he takes the advice of other people, of his counsel, of everybody around him. He takes everything into account. And he has a lot of information that he needs to sort through, okay? So he needs to sort through the pros and cons of going about this one decision of the, the entire decision-making process. So he has all his advisors, he has all his counselors, and they're coming through to give him like, you know, pros and cons of pursuing a specific course of action. And they're giving him like, you know, anal analysis. They're giving him data on what he should do. And so they're saying that a good leader takes all of these things into account. You know, some of the information that's given to you, I feel like they're actually very valid. They're actually really good. They're actually going to help you to, you know, be a lot more successful, be a lot more efficient at work, be a lot more money conscious as well. So I feel that's, that's what's coming through. And then the other decisions might not be that great. Okay. The other decisions could lead you down a path where you might feel spiritually cast out, where you might feel financial lack. Okay. And so we have to take into account that everything that's coming through, we need to look at it with a little bit of skepticism, but at the same time, be a lot more receptive and open as to what's coming through. Because ultimately, you know, we, we all encounter energies of other people. Uh, sometimes when we're in a space where we need guidance, where we need advice, the right person will come into the picture carrying their banner of truth and they can give you very good, solid spiritual guidance and advice. And then for others, if you are so fixated, you know, into doing something like in a very procedurally correct manner, if you're fixated on like, you know, having suspicions that, oh, that person's up to no good, etc., the advice that they give you, the guidance, can also serve to, you know, um, if you don't take 
their advice, it can lead you down a dark path, okay? And so the major, major theme here that I'm feeling is um, this is the card of, it, this is the star. This is somebody that wields a lot of knowledge and they're pouring their knowledge back to the ground. They're basically dis, uh, disseminating their knowledge. Whatever they know, they give back to society, okay? So it's, um, I almost feel like this combination, the emperor is somebody who is very, very strong-minded, okay? And then this card here is um, somebody who's very, very soft. So this person might hoard knowledge for themselves, and then this is the person that wants to educate everybody. This is the person that wants to, you know, dispense information, dispense knowledge, and try to make the world a better place. And so deciding between, you know, the people that are coming into your life, you know, where do you stand with them? And especially uh, which side of the coin they're on. Are they somebody giving you, you know, specific information because they want you to either, you know, um, fight the fight for them. They might be giving you false information and they want you to ally, uh, align yourself with them so that you can, you know, take the mantle and just, you know, fight the good fight for them. Or are they somebody that is coming through giving you advice because they feel that this information is, is meaningful, it needs to be shared, okay? And so that's what I, I feel is coming through. The second message that I come that I'm seeing here is um, they mention idle gossip, and um, this is not a card, um, or this is not an energy that I'm seeing for a lot of you guys because you know you don't have time to waste. You have practical responsibilities to take care of. But overall, when it comes to com communication, when it comes to conversation, make sure that whatever you you um, bring to the table has value has merit okay and making sure that whatever you're bringing to the table is valid it's been studied it's been you know like uh, tested and that it can work and especially if it's like um you know that message idle gossip if it's um information that is not it's like heard through the grapevines, heard through a third party rather than heard through a direct source. You might not want to pass that advice off or that information off as gospel, okay? And so idle gossip also talks about, you know, being very careful about the people around us and uh, our tendency as well. People, you know, when we get together, we egg each other on for good or for bad. And so if Somebody is coming through bringing, you know, talks that don't have any merit, don't have any value. Do not engage in it, okay? Because energetically, if we succumb to that type of low vibrational energy, it can, cre it can reverberate, okay? And um, that's the first thing. If somebody is coming through and they're talking about things that add value to everybody's lives, those are the conversations that you want to find yourself engaged in and be open-minded about, okay? And then likewise, when we communicate back to other people, when we bring information back into the world, we want to make sure that the information that we broadcast add value to other people's lives, okay? So I'm going to leave it with that. Um, I hope the reading has been helpful for some of you. I do wish you all the best and, um, you know, enjoy the rest of your month, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.